Arm wrestling begin. We'll start with me. You got the motivation? Show him that power of yours. I'm very confident in my clicking skills. Arm wrestling rules. Press the button when the strength gauge is most full. If you do well, you'll push back the opponent's arm. For the last attack, or when on the verge of defeat, a fist button will appear, so, sm so smash it. Just try it. Touching your allies icon will give you advice and the like, so good luck. Why would I need advice? Oh god damn it. This is hard! <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Oh no! <laughs> May look brutal, but your power is nothing much. It keeps moving! <laughs> I'm stressed. This is taking forever. What? Did I lose? Oh no, I won. Got him. Somehow that was easier than the first one. Okay. We're good. Won the battle. Yay, I won the battle. Good work, you're really something. So these are clear chips, let's take one each. Got one clear chip. Well then, as promised, let's trade tokens. It's a trade of trust, you know. Yay. Still so wasn't here, was he? Damn it, was we, was we on the wrong track? Ah, uh, you guys are safe? Sorry, but you gotta come with me. Yeah? I found the beanie bastard in his bedroom. Yeah, we should have checked the bedroom, actually. Oh, he's dead. Well, rip so. What the? The scarf? There's a rugged plank of wood in the bed. Hey, what the hell is this? Mm, well, seems just the right size to carry and swing around. We don't mean so as... I wonder if Alice did this, actually. But I don't think it's him. So it's collapsed on the floor. Maybe now, we left her alone. It's the same situation, Meow. As before- Yeah, actually! <laughs> this is the second time he got his ass beat! He can be all cheeky all he wants, but when it comes to physical power, useless. Sure is. Don't worry, he's breathing. Yippee. On his head. Those splinters. The scene truly was the same as the one I just recalled. If it is now, though, this would be the second time she hit him. The same as when So was attacked in the hidden room. Ugh. S so! Oh. Ugh. Um. Oh man. I feel awful. What in the world happened? Eh? Th that's what I want to know. Where is this place? When did I get here? Did he lose his memories? Is this like a way of restarting his morals, basically? So people can't get pissed at him? God damn it. Cram it, you bastard. Like hell anybody's gonna worry about you now. What are you plotting? Tell me. L hold on. Now, now, violence isn't the answer, Reko. <laughs> what is it? You're so mean suddenly. So. Where have you been? Um, I think I was investigating the laptop in the hidden room. Uh, and then... What's he saying? Shut the hell up. The laptop crap was all before the main game. The main game. That's right. Before the main game, I need to... I need to check the data on the laptop. But the password... Um... He's faking it, isn't it? Uh, isn't he? You completely lost your mind, man? The main game's long since ended. What do you mean, KG? Over. All of it. Who... died? Huh? So... What... is so talking about? Who... Who isn't here? Now? Hey, don't tell me your memories. Or else, was it Kai? Stop. Stop it already. It can't be. 
Je Why are you acting so concerned, bitch? You were the one who plotted against him. Stop. Stop. Miss Ari, that can't be it, right? Joe- Joe died. Why? Stop. Stop, stop. Yeah, stop. Oh no, my sanity meter is off the charts. You okay, Sarah? Y yes, I'm fine. Goddamn piece of shit. He's spouting more stupid lies. So it really is a lie. Obviously, he's at a disadvantage. So he's pretending like he doesn't remember. That said, he's not going to answer us like that either. Um, could you trust Kana to handle it? Kana? Oh, she looks cute. In this sprite. I'll try to find the truth behind what So is thinking. I'm sure I'm sure he'll be less wary with me than the rest of you. Sounds good. What the hell are you on about? That guy's like a bad influence in Kana. We've been underestimating Kana, I'd say. She might be a stronger girl than we thought. Mr. Policeman. But don't let him use you, Kana. Adults with bad intentions are scarier than you can imagine. Right. I ain't gonna accept it. I just... Let's believe, Rico. Kana. What do we do now, Meow? We got three whole days. No use in rushing the attractions and hurting ourselves. Are we doing one per day? That's lame. Might be wise to discuss how we're going to use this, these tokens, too. Tokens, Meow. I need ten more to get one of the tapes. Don't discuss. Negotiations. After finishing a death attraction, you can select someone in the lobby to have negotiations about token trades and the like. It's wise to both collect tokens and deepen your interactions. Your actions may just decide their fates. Really? Fuck. Okay then, uh, let's save. Who do I want to know more about is what I'm going to base this off of. I'm curious about KG. And, but I'm also curious about Alice. Let's actually talk to- Are they the same height? Hold on. Yeah, they are. Okay, anyway, let's talk to KG. I just want to try it- uh, just to try it out. I want to trade 20 tokens. Hear a short pitch? Sure. Ranger, was it? The enemy of ours said that the more of these tokens you collect, the better. Put another way, who knows what'll happen if you don't have very many. But why trade with me? Cause- ah, oh, it! this again. I wish you just remembered already. Sarah, just try it out. Okay. Sure. Great. Should I pour some coffee? No thanks. What's this about a trade? Cold-hearted as ever. Just what I said. We trade 20 tokens for experimentation. Our enemy seems surprisingly serious about following the rules, if nothing else. Even if there was a dummy rule. The more tokens you collect, the better. We can probably trust that's correct. So those who don't get a certain amount of tokens are penalized. Doesn't sound unlikely, does it? Uh... What if I refuse? Huh? So you'll refuse a request from your friendly policeman? I'm not necessarily saying that. Our enemy called it the trust barter game. If I've gotta trust somebody, I'm thinking I can trust you, Sarah. I... I will trust if you tell me secrets. <laughs> I want secrets. Give me the tea, bitch. What? I haven't forgotten. If we made it through the main game, you'd tell me your secrets. He didn't say that, but sure. I'm excited. Ah, uh, that. Sure, I'll tell you soon. Bitch, tell me now! Soon? Slippery little... Well, in the end, I'll defer to your wishes. I'm not an extortion kind of guy. What should I do? If I trade for 20 tokens, I'll be losing 20 of my own. Go through with this trade. <laughs> sure, why not? Then I'll just use my tokens or your tokens to find out your secrets, bitch. Let's trade, KG. Thanks, Sarah. Well, that's it for negotiations. Suddenly, I remembered something. Is now still here, I wonder. The AI of Professor Mishima. I should go check on her. Uh, let's see this. Oh, it's still 20. Pretty good. Okay, it's good. Um... Monitor room. Yeah. 
and then Professor Yes, I see. Is that so? Okay, she's here. So? I can't go anywhere. Do I turn it off? Single point now. Okay. So then, Professor, while you were gone, it's like my voice isn't reaching her. I guess it's entirely unreasonable. Maybe now won't come back if I were in that situation. If... if it were Joe on that screen, then... Oh no, maybe I shouldn't have done that. Oh no. I'm sure. I'd be rooted to that spot, too. Doesn't matter if he's fake. I want to meet him and apologize. I want him to forgive me. I can't help thinking about those things. As if I'm gonna forgive you. Calm down. There's no one there. It's just a hallucination. Ah! Oh. That was... that was bad. Ugh. What was that? Calm down. Gotta stay calm. I'm sure... Now is regretful too. Wondering if she could have saved Mishima. Given that bringing now back to reality is beyond me. I'm sorry. Is that all? Okay. I just came here to lose sanity. Before I left the room, I looked toward the monitor one last time. Is that so? It's been nothing but hardship then. However, even amid such circumstances, you've made wonderful friends, Miss Now. F friends? Indeed. Age and the length of your association are of no relevance. They are wonderful people who help each other. I understand that clearly hearing you speak. Or I understood that clearly hearing you speak. Please treasure your friends, uh, Miss Now. Okay. I've always been getting saved by them. So from now on, I want to be useful to Reko. And Sarah, and everyone. That's why. I'm going now, Professor. Yes, please come by any time. I'll be right here. No. I won't come here anymore. Miss Now. You truly have grown strong, haven't you? I'm honored to have had you as a student. Goodbye, Miss Now. Aww. Sniffle. I... I'm not strong at all. I wanted you watching over me always, Professor. Now... Now it's trying to look forward, and you should too, bitch. Get rid of the sandy meter shit. To accept everything and face reality. Now is a strong person. Much stronger than me. I should go. I'll do what I have to. To so much as approach that strength. Huh? Is that now? It's noon. Oh no, it's not now. Hmm? What's that? Quit with the stupid jokes, you. The biggest joke around here is your name. <laughs> They're not wrong. Kutaro and Ranger are arguing. I wonder what happened. Keiji's just kind of in the back. Hmm, <laughs> I see. Kutaro and Ranger are having a dispute in the middle of the lobby. Damn it, you gotta be screwing with me. Kutaro, what's the matter? Sarah, this Ranger guy just said we can't go back to the first and second floors. That's bad. There were places I wanted to go back to. I mean, you cleared him already, right? Not really. Hold on a second, Kai's laptop is down there. Who cares? We'll just confiscate that thing. No way! Damn it, it was unmistakably a clue. That laptop's the one thing I ain't gonna hand over to you. They run? Sheesh. Keiji. Bet Kutaro wants to find the truth about Kai. About Kai? What a troublesome guy. Leaving mystery after mystery. Was Kai a good person? I wonder if Kai was a good person after all. Some aspects suggested it. His anger for the victims and resistance against the kidnappers. Was Kai acting for good or for evil? Just whose side was he on? When we ended up making Kai a victim without knowing anything about him. 
But we can make infer infer inferences? Yeah. Inferences. Friend or foe, let's consider the possibilities. First, Kai confessed to having some contact with the kidnappers. So one possibility is that Kai was with the baddies. Like a director of the death game, for instance. Yet Kai drew the sage card and died. In his last moments, he said he entrusted me his hopes. I can't imagine him as an enemy. Incidentally, Sarah, you really didn't have any acquaintance with, with Kai. No, why am I not telling him? Huh. Then how about this one? Something like, Kai betrayed the kidnappers. And he was executed as an example. He did sock Miley, after all. It's possible he earned their wrath, but... Maybe that's not it. Then here's the next possibility. Kai was on our side, but had some sort of communication with the kidnappers. Though in the same situation as all of us. He did dealings or missions in the shadows. Missions? Like what? You remember the first trial everyone took, right? Yes, that game where I was tied to a bed and we had to find the key. It wasn't the same for everybody. Didn't Kyutaro say so? And then Joe asked about it, and then he completely dodged everything. Er, yes, for Kyutaro, the trial was just... to carry the box with Miley's head. Ah, is that what you mean by missions? Yep. In short, Kai might have also been entrusted with a different mission. Like, ensnare the other participants. No way. In other words, he was being manipulated. Like a disposable pawn. Gah. There's one more. A very slight possibility, but one your friendly policeman would like to hope for. Eh? The possibility we've got an ally on the side of the kid kidnappers. It's my fake dad! In other words, there's a traitor among them, trying to, de trying to destroy the death game from the inside. That person was in contact with Kai, and had him assist with the plan. Well, Sarah? Think that's... out uh, of the question? One of the kidnappers is our ally. It's possible. Could be my fake dad. I have no proof that could fully deny it, but... Looks like you can't wrap your head around it. If it is my dad, sort of dad, though, wouldn't he want to kill Keiji because of how close Keiji is trying to get to Sarah? I don't know. There are clearly some illogical aspects, so... Well, uh, all that's just my hope, anyhow. Uh, all that's just my hope, anyhow. Could be interesting if Miley was related to this, though. Keiji. I was just thinking. Has there been a similar case? There hasn't been a past case similar to this death game, has there? There has. It was called Zero Escape. Alternatively, Danganronpa. What? It was decades ago, apparently. But I've read the files. There was a battle for influence between major crime rings. At the time, the police the police are putting their- What is this song? This is the first I've heard it. At the time, the police are putting their all into exterminating these organizations. Those living in the shadows had it pretty rough, so crime rings started laying waste to their own. But if you're just gonna mutually destroy each other, it's better to join hands, they thought. And so they executed a plan to unify the crime rings into one monolith and the ways of violence they're so adept at. Don't tell me that was... Yes, a death game. A mutual slaughter with rules. Scary stuff. The representatives had a grand battle, and only one person survived. That survivor reigned at the top of criminal society. I think it was called the Hades Incident. Hades Incident. Shot to the top of the criminal underworld, hence the Hades Incident. But ultimately, the organization collapsed afterward. Justice always prevails. The police do their job- the police do their job sometimes, right? Why didn't you mention it? Well done. How relevant is it to this? Not very, I think. Since the organization collapsed and all. Or did they? Besides, Sarah, you got any connections to the criminal underworld? Maybe. Y it can't be! Of course not, right? It's not good to, s to go tying anything and everything together, Sarah. More importantly, we better get moving. Ranger was mentioning that the rest of the attractions have opened up all around here. Is that so? I think it'd be good to go look for him. 
Tell me if I can help out with something. This policeman will be your partner, Sarah. And then you'll have me killed like your last one. The attractions. I'll go look around. Sup now. There are lots of passages in this floor, too. It seems easy to get lost. Um, exploring comes first. Might find something besides attractions. What's my sanity meter like? 40. 40 right now, fuck. So, Ruined Corridor had a bunch. What about here? You're here now. Hmm? What is it, Sarah Chidoan? Alice. I take it you have business with the attractions beyond here. I thought so. Attractions appeared here. What? You didn't notice? So my observational skill is superior. <laughs> Over there, and there, and here. Discovered three death attractions. <laughs> because of Alice, you can select attractions by the move menu. Challenge them if you're up to it. And tell me if you seek my observational skills. That's a big hint. Even if it's a fake outside, it feels nice, meow. Um, let's check the other places. Monitor room? Mishima's still here. Sarah! Kana. H hey there. So! I worried you, huh? Kana explained to me, nah bitch, we weren't worried. It's just one shock after another. I couldn't blame anyone for being paralyzed. Um, Sarah! It looks like attractions have appeared in a few places. Yeah, so I heard. Looks like you can go to three more attractions from here, in fact. What? Look, behind you. How can you still trust him? He's right. There are paths on the opposite side. There's three more here. I wonder, maybe some locations open up other than the attractions. Let's search for a little longer, Kana. Uh, okay. So, that's all the attractions that opened. It might be about time to continue on with clearing the attractions. Okay, um... Let's talk to you, actually. Ah, you are Miss Sarah, wasn't it? Now told me about you. She said you were very brave and kind. You're exactly right, I'm the best. You're a kind teacher slash smoker. And Professor Mishima, you're a kind, cigar-loving teacher as well. C cigar A teacher should not smoke. Don't make such strange suggestions. But you really look like you wanted to smoke. My original did? May perhaps her personalities differ. He's begun to deny his own self. Professor Mishima, er, you're an artificial intelligence, right? Yes, it seems so. I have a memory telling me I am, a I am an AI. Perhaps if I didn't have that memory, I would think things like I'm trapped in the screen, let me out, and so on. He was created by the kidnappers, right? Yeah, surely. There's a lot I could ask. Please ask me anything. I'll answer as much as I remember. Can I actually? Something you want to ask me. Oh, I can ask him a whole bunch of shit. Hold on. Alright, here we go. Memories. Professor Mishima, how far back do your memories go? I believe I remember becoming a teacher, Miss Now's graduation, and all the life I led. Then what about your memories after being brought here, when you were abducted? I have none. Yes, that's true. I'd actually met with you already, didn't I? Not, bleh, hadn't I? However, if it's a memory before my abduction, I believe I have it. Memories from before the abduction, huh? And also, subconsciously, I know that I am an AI. I should answer as many questions as I can. Perhaps I am just programmed that way. Okay, um, kidnappers. What do you know about the kidnappers? That is, the people who made you. Hmm, I know nothing. I have absolutely no memories of that sort. I guess the kidnappers couldn't leave- uh, wouldn't leave us clues. To put that another way, maybe they're free- Maybe they're free to insert and erase memories at will. Apologies, it could not be of more use. Death game. Do you know anything about the death game? Mmm, right. Come to think of it, I just accepted it, but... You all are being made to play this death game, right? That- This is an outrageous situation. If only you had some helpful information. Myself, I know nothing. Apologies, it could not be of more use. Now. So about now. My dear student, she came to learn art from me even after graduating high school. She has greatly matured emotionally. The more you know of her past, the more it brings tears to my eyes. Or your eyes. I think 
That's related to the fact you died, Professor Mishima. It appears I have made Miss Nao suffer greatly. I must let that happen no more. Miss Sarah, I have a request. What is it? No, it's nothing. It's probably something like, be her friend or something. I still lack the courage to ask. About the original Mishima. So about the original Professor Mishima. He's died, hasn't he? In such a situation as this, I should have protected Miss Now yet. But you did. You did, though. You became a victim in order to protect Now. Is that true? No human wants to die. The survival instincts that kick in in desperate situations can at times result in demonic actions. I protect- is that- Is that referring to So? I feel like that might have been re referring to So. I protected Miss Now, but even so, I do not know if it is right to commend myself. You were like a saint, you died for no reason. <laughs> Don't say that, you were a fine person. Professor Mishima, you were a fine person. I believe I just did all I could. Miss Sarah, none of you can give up. Please live and make it home. Hey, good talk. Uh, I'm gonna go do an attraction now. And preferably around Alice because... He's a very interesting character. Um, what do I want to do? Spirit Shutter, maybe. Clear Trip Reward 2. Get blue spirits and then and when ghosts appear, click the camera shutter to repel them. Gather enough souls and you win. This is basically just a mini-game chapter. <laughs> uh... Okay. Who's good at this shit like this? I want Alice. <laughs> no, I can't pick him. Uh, who do I want? Do I want more KG tokens? Actually, do I want more tokens from KG? Okay. Uh, as KG stored energy will not decrease over time. Okay. Okie dokie, he'll help. He's not offering to give tokens. Okay. That was just a one-time thing, apparently. Maybe I just chose the wrong person. We'll start with me. <laughs> what am I supposed to do? Spirit shutter rolls to touch many blue spirits to collect them. Don't touch the red spirits. When ghosts appear on the screen, quickly press the red shutter button to drive them away. Okay. Touching your allies icon will give you advice, blah blah blah. I want these. Where's the spirits at? Uh. Uh. Why? But I clicked on it! Come on! I will say though, the art for this game. Pretty freaking good, dude. I think one person- I think this is made by one or two people? Oh god. I thought K having KG was supposed to do not decrease my shit over time. They're appearing way too soon. Oh my god, go away! Oh my god, holy shit! Time- time for me to serve and protect- oh yeah, there we go. It's taking forever, dude. Finally! That took so long! Won the battle. Man should do it. I'm exhausted. Here's the clear chips. We'll take one each. With that, the attraction is done. Oh, negotiation time. Different people this time. Hmm. Who do I want to trade with? Let's try talking to all of them first, actually. Hear their pitches. Um, Sarah, it's not a trade or anything, but can we talk? Okay. So seems to have gotten tired and fallen asleep. This is a really cute sprite. Uh, I can only talk about this now while he's resting. Don't tell me, did you learn something important? Uh, I'm sorry, it's nothing like that, I'm afraid. Come to think of it, I've never gotten to talk to Kana so calmly before. Kana just wants to chat with someone. Uh, I'm Sarah. Uh, okay, so... I can choose to trade, or talk. 
Sir, I want to trade 20 to tokens between you, me, and now. You see, I decided with the record that we'd trade 20 tokens each. But you know, got to cross the shaky bridge together. For instance, we could pass 20 tokens like this. Me to Sarah, to now. Or pass them the other way, now to Sarah, to me. This way, we won't need to have extra trade partners in the future, see? So they're daring to trade them like this instead of an equal share. Watch. Mm. Let's save. I want to hear what Kana has to say first, actually. Okay. R really? Hooray! I wanted to talk to you too, Kana. Sarah, um, I'll pour some tea. I've never seen Kana so cheerful before. Kana feels like she's been a burden for a long while now. Kana. Don't... Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. All the things you've done, you couldn't help it. But... Sarah and now both of you are being positive and moving ahead. Kana's a hopeless girl. On her own she can't walk or even stand. You're standing and walking now, doesn't that count? Sarah? Um, Sarah, you... You're like a warrior. Hmm? Like a samurai. I could see you with a katana. Well, I was in the kendo club in middle school. Whoa, I knew it. If you were a senior at Kano school, she'd look up to you so much. You must be so popular. Er, I mean, I did get a love letter from a younger girl once. Oh, <laughs> cook. Sure enough. A frivolous chat. An empty conversation that was just fun. I felt like I'd forgotten them for too long. Those peaceful, ordinary days. Kana likes how cool you sound, Sara. <laughs> thanks. Actually, once I get to high school, I tried to cure myself of talking like this. Or once I got to high school- okay. Eh? Did you really? I mean, it was a little embarrassing, since most girls aren't quite so brusque. But... he... No, it's nothing. Sarah. You're just like... my sister. Huh? Your strength and your kindness. But my sister wasn't always kind from the moment we met. The moment they met. You aren't blood related. Kana, are you and your sister not blood related? Right. See, Kana's adopted. She came to her current family from an orphanage when she was little, just like Kyutaro. So you had different parents too. Mom and dad were really kind. Kana was determined to always smile. Childishly thinking, I can't trouble them. And Kana's sister didn't seem to like her. Stop it, Kogie. Or Kugie. Why do you do such cruel things? No, it's fine. Kana's not angry. She's not, really. Look, see? <laughs> God. What are you always laughing for? Huh? You're creepy. I hate it. Hey, stop that. Apologize, Kugie. Even then, I kept on smiling. I didn't want to make sister out as a villain. But once, but one, once day, one day when it became unbear unbearable, I ran away from home. That's why she's wearing a fucking bucket. Sniff sob. I couldn't go home. I didn't want to. Thinking that to myself, I sat in the park with a bucket on my head and cried. Hey, what you doing? What's with the bucket? You're funny. Is this Joe? <laughs> Sniff sniffle. Huh? You crying? Alright. <laughs> that was- oh. How's that, eh? Look at me. Come on, funny, right? Ooh. What are you doing? Huh? How dare you put a bucket in your head- in her head and tease her? Beat it, you! I wasn't teasing her! Liar! Kana's crying, isn't she? Don't be so cruel to my little sister! That was the first time she called me little sister. You still crying? S sorry sister. So you cry too, Kana. Kana, I'm sorry. Sister, mom and dad are worried, so let's get home quick, okay? Okay. Ever since then, my sister and I got along really well. I see. Without any blood relation, Kana and her sister got along really, really well. Kana. Kana will definitely go home, she says, and then she dies, because she needs to tell mom and dad. Determination. Kind of determination. 
Much too hev heavy for a girl her age to bear. I should be going soon. So might wake up after all. Why does she care so much about him now? Strange. Thank you very much, Sarah. Well, that's it for discussions. That might have been worth it. Woof, it hurts, meow. What's wrong, Gin? The two of us went and did an attractions, uh, attraction, but I couldn't quite protect him. Big sis Sarah! I'm okay, meow. Just a scratch, Wolf. But you're bleeding. I can lick it better, Wolf. Would be nice to have somewhere to care for wounds. His room. Er. Would you like to go to the medical office? What do you want? Scram, Wolf! But it wouldn't be good if the wound was left to fester. You've got no right to be worrying over me, melon soda lady, meow. <laughs> Sniff, medical treatment for participants is just part of my job, you see. Mm, can't exactly believe you that easily. Or are you willing to take a vow, Saffalin? I, I vow that I will cause him no harm. I won't go back in my word, she's basically the monomy of this universe. Hmm. <laughs> can't trust her, Wolf. I'd be mad if she remodeled my body into some weird superhuman meow. Hey, that sounds kind of cool. You do it if you wanted so much, Meow. I won't force it upon you, but I definitely do think you should get treatment. What to do? Trust her. Let's try trusting Safalin. Big sis Sarah, are you serious, Meow? Yeah, if she's about to do something bad, KG and I will protect you. Sounds good to me. Thank you very much. Please follow me this way. Well, it's a legit room. This is the medical office. What's this place, Meow? Does it lead outside, Wolf? Uh, no. Everything you see is outside as an image projected into the glass cabinets. An image? Yes. Currently we're displaying a soothing tropical scene. How do you like it? Huh, you're right. It does feel nice. Feels like the AC is tuned just- uh, tuned just right for it, too. Just right- uh, whatever. How observant. I actually managed this room myself. It serves as a laboratory as well. Er, uh, so can we heal again? Uh, yes. The medical su supplies are over there. Here. First aid kit with medical supplies. Hi. Safflin is looking my way. Please take it easy. KG sending to Gin's wound. It's lighter than I thought. Does it hurt, Gin? Doesn't, but I want to have Big Sis Her Sarah heal it for me, meow. Well, now it got me in a sore spot. A wound like this should be fine just being washed in water and bandage. Uh, I have a cell that speeds up c cellular repair, so if you use that as well, it'll more quickly. Sure that's not dangerous? Understood. Please look at this. Safflin cut her own hand, making it bleed. And you use it like so, so, uh, so in the bleeding area. See? It isn't dangerous, is it? Proving it with your own body, eh? Got it. She seems like a sweetheart. I want to trust her. <laughs> but I don't know if we should. Getting KG talking in whispers. Mr. Policeman. Mr. Policeman. What's up? Is it okay to give Big Sis Sarah this meow? Huh? No. Better not give her that. I wonder what they're talking about. Um, do you have something for me? Meow, it's nothing, Wolf. Hmm? Well, that's pretty suspicious. I want to see. Is it a token? Is it a clear, clear thing? Show me that, Gin. No, I can't, Wolf. Come on, please. His hand was. Oh, no! Why did I do that? <laughs> My curiosity! The thing Big Bro Joe had, Wolf. The dog keychain he always kept in his breast pocket. The one I gave Joe. I picked it up then, Wolf. I didn't want the kidnappers to take it, Meow. Sorry, Wolf. Ah! Gin, you did well. Is it okay if I take this? You're glad, Meow? Yeah. This is precious to me. Thank you, Gin. Thank goodness, Meow. Oh god, KG's like, oh shit, this girl's gonna go nuts. 
No help in it, I guess. Ugh. What was that all of a sudden? A hallucination. Gotta ignore it. Well, we've treated again, so let's leave. Right. If you get hurt, please come back again. Thank you. Thank you. We'll make use of it again. There's no reason to thank her, Meow. It's because of these guys we're getting hurt, Wolf. Apologies. Let's go, you two. We left the medical office behind. Why is it black and white? Oh. It's nighttime. It's t a lot of stages here. Why is Rekko quiet? Rekko's glancing at me to call me over. I wonder what it is. That's save. Sarah, can you come with me for a sec? What is it? I found a weird place. I wanted to show you before telling everyone. A weird place? Come on, follow me. What? Oh, it's the... The prize. The top prize. What is this place? Told you. Weird, yeah? The most suspicious part is these stairs. Or is those stairs. There's a vending machine at the top. A vending machine? Suspicious vending machine sits at the top. There aren't any items displayed inside and no price is shown either. Hmm? The power's on. A vending machine with no clear merch or prices. Or prizes. Prices! Fuck! The hell's its deal- The hell is- The hell's its deal, you think? The bell acceptor slot is plugged up. But it looks like you can put in coins. Uh, like tokens. What should we do? Put in some tokens? Hold on a sec. That's not. It might be a trap. Just touching it could be bad. Sure, but like, before the others come in and get all curious. D don't do it, Rekko. In the end, somebody's gotta investigate it. And this is probably the prize that'll lead out to the outside. That means your tokens aren't gonna work. Nothing's happening. Maybe one token isn't enough, you need 200, bitch. Hmm. Seeing as there's this number above it, maybe. You have to insert 200 tokens. Huh? Who's gonna earn that many? That better be one goddamn tasty soda. Tastier than that, it's the escape route. Maybe there's no need to worry about it. Got a point. 200 is just unreasonable. No problem ignoring it, then. Well, ain't that a relief. Let's ditch this creepy place. Oh, Rekko. Hmm? I took the token she inserted from the turn slot and gave it back to Rekko. Hey, thanks. Now let's move, Sarah. Right. Maybe we can come back if we solve the mystery. Besides, it's about time I do an attraction. Another one. That is most definitely the top price. A prize. Where's now here? Why is she talking? How strange. It's even night outside these windows. Oh, she's over there. Getting that wound healed made me hungry, Meow. Should I ask for stuffed peppers? I hate peppers, Meow. Okay. They're just gonna chill out over here. Did we already- yeah, we already went to there. Let's try one for the monitor room. But Seems like this floor still got plenty of hidden areas. There's something you want to ask me. No, I already asked all of this. Let's actually check where everyone else is. Maybe someone's here. Nope. Let's check my tokens, actually. So, wait, wait, wait. So I have 30 so far. So I can actually get one of these right now. Let's save. Actually, no, I might, I might want to save up, so I don't think I'm going to do this yet. Someone over here? They're here now. <laughs> Why are you always off in the corner? I've already cleared this attraction. I wanted to talk to him. There's wood fragments here, too. I wonder if the weapon So got hit with was taken from here. Hey, can we rest a little? A little? We'll hardly get any exploring done if we keep resting so much. Hmm. Can I talk to you? Oh, there. 
this hallway. It's complicated as a maze. Okay, let's check the other places. Medical office. <gasps> what? I should not look at that, but I'm very curious, so... I'm just gonna re reload my save if this goes bad. Something is faintly reflected by the glass. Joe is there. Not again. It's a hallucination. I must just be hallucinating again. Uh, Sarah. Why? Why didn't you save me, Sarah? Help me, Sarah! <laughs> no more. No more of this. How long can I suffer? How long am I going to- I approach the closet, but the hallucination doesn't go away. In fact, I can only see it more clearly. Don't tell me this is- A doll. Joe? No, he's not reacting. W what's wrong with my eyes? What are you doing? Don't go opening doors without asking, please. Safflin! It's a fucking doll. If you have business, please let me know. And don't go searching around on your own. What is this? Safflin, tell me. What in the world is this? Sniff Wellum. What's in there is a doll. A doll? You must have seen them before as well. A doll of Miss Kana. A doll of yourself. Come to think of it, I do remember using a doll that looked just like me in the mirror room. Do you remember now? Yeah. What are they for? For what purpose are these dolls? They are one of the experiments done by our organization. I cannot say anything more than that. The more I looked at the doll, I felt it might start moving any moment. It's like... Joe is really here. If it pleases you, do you want to borrow it? What the fuck am I supposed to do with this? D don't be ridiculous, who would want this thing? One of the purposes these dolls were made for is this mental relief. A precious person you can no longer meet. You can talk to them or have them beside you. A doll is a doll, I don't need it. But you're distressed, aren't you? Please be honest, Miss Sarah. You need salvation. You have regrets. If you desired it, you could have joined hands with Joe and escaped together. You gave that up and killed Joe. And you mourn that fact. Stop it. Facing Joe Tazuna. That is your only path toward salvation. That's not... Stubborn, I see. Then just for you. Allow me to show you a wonderful function that will make you feel even closer to this doll. Put it, you. Isn't that a little too much interf interference? Maybe you're not a villain, but you're sure not normal. I apologize. I went too far. I won't speak any more about dolls. However, if I may at least offer a suggestion. I have a device for healing mental wounds. Really? Please come here before your hallucinations become so intense as to destroy your mind. That is all. Oh, so I can keep doing whatever the fuck I want then. Well, so long. What is my level right now? I don't think it's very good. Are you okay? Pant, pant. I'm okay. I'm fine now. Wanna sit down for a bit? Okay. Sarah, did you... Did you like Joe? He was a close friend. He was a close friend. No one else was as foolish, soft-hearted, and cheerful as him. Yeah, I'll bet. He was someone important to you. Regardless of liking or love, right? Yes. Come to think of it, is he projecting? You had someone important to you too, right? You said you'd tell me about it if we survived the main game. I did. It was back when your friendly policeman was still in grade school. All I had was a um, single mother. We weren't, aff weren't affluent. So when I went to visit friends, I had to borrow my mom's errand bicycle. The brakes on it were busted. So one day, I fell off and the bike went sailing into the river without me. The embarrassment of being laughed at by my friend, and the pain of losing my mom's dear bicycle, got me weeping like nobody's business. And there on the scene, was a friendly neighborhood policeman. He leapt into the river and fished out the bike, and even spent hours at the police box repairing it. Soaking wet and awkwardly cool, he was my hero. 
So he was the person important to you. He's what made me want to be a policeman. I'll never forget it. It's a precious memory. Were you able to reunite? Since you became a policeman yourself, you two reunite. <laughs> nah, nah, nah. They probably did, and he probably shot him. Well, there's lots of different police in the world. Okay, that's the end of the story. You calm down a little? Yes, thank you very much. See ya. You can always depend on Mr. Policeman.